Hi guys, today I am back doing a makeup video when is the last time I did one of those. Um, <laughs> and that is only because um, Influencer sent me something. I haven't been buying makeup at all. Um, but they sent me the Dr. Jart BB Premium Beauty Balm. I don't know if this is new or not. I really haven't done much research on it. Um, but I think it's like the original Beauty Balm. Um, it says buildable coverage, natural finish, SPF 40, hydrates, conceals, and protects. It's a multitasker with niacinamide. I like niacinamide, um, but it has sunscreens that I don't do well with. I like only mineral sunscreens, and it does have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, but it also has octanoxate and octosalate, which I usually don't do too well with, so I'm a little nervous, but I will be trying it out. Um, this is the shade of Fair Light. Like I said, I got this for free from In Influencer. If you don't know what they are, I'll give a little thing. It's a literally just a place you can sign up and you get free stuff. That's it. You take surveys and um, when they want to send you a product, they will let you know. You receive it. And then you do some activities like write reviews on Sephora or write reviews on Target or write reviews on Influencer itself. And then maybe you post you know, I got this for free from Influencer on Instagram, things like that. Um, I think they want a lot of TikToks. I don't have TikToks, so I've missed quite a few. Um, but with that being said, I am excited to try this. I haven't worn makeup in months. I literally just walk around like this. If I wear any makeup, it's like a touch of brow gel. I have nothing on my face right now. I will not be wearing this with like makeup. I won't be putting on blush or anything like that, but we will see if the color is good, how it feels, and how it wears. Um, right now, it's like 11 o'clock, I think. So let's try it out. Uh, I'm very excited. I just got this yesterday. I didn't even get the email yet that it was coming. Sometimes they send them early. This is a really hard container, I have to say. Usually these are like squeezy, um, but it's like hard. So it looks like a squeezy tube, but it is a solid here. It says, a great skin day in a tube. Breathable, buildable, formula moisturizes, protects, and delivers good coverage with a natural looks like you finish. So I already have all my skincare on. I've had it on for a while. I had a little bit of a nightmare this morning. My smoke alarm battery was like beeping and I had to run to the store and get a battery and like it was like a whole thing before I even had my coffee. So yeah, um, let's try this. Um, so it has a little bump, pump, a pump, not a bump. Let's try it out. You gotta pump it. Ooh, okay, so there's the one pea size pump. The color looks okay. The wet was my big thing too is that it does have fragrance in it. I don't like fragrance in my skincare or my makeup. Um, what's the fragrance? It says bergamot fruit oil, lemon, peel oil, lime oil, pine, orange. Like that's just not really up my alley. I don't like having all those oils of fragrance, but we're gonna try it. If I don't like it, I could always give it to a friend. But as you can see, I do have some acne at the moment. I've been eating pretty bad lately. Um, so that's what that's about. I have some here, here, and on the forehead. Um, so let's just try it out. It's a nice texture. I do like it. It's not too thin, not too thick. So like I said, I got the shade Fair Light. Feels nice. It's definitely um, lightweight. It definitely smells like essential oils though, which I don't love. Um, I hope it doesn't make me break out more. It feels good. It doesn't feel like it's pilling or anything. I do have drier skin, FYI. It definitely offered some coverage. I mean, I wouldn't obviously say it's like full, but you know, it's actually, it's pretty nice to be honest. I don't know, it feels really good. I feel like my skin actually looks good. I don't feel like I need more makeup, which is crazy. Like normally even BB creams, things like that. I feel like I need to put blush, like bronzer, do the whole thing. Um, I do wish I put a little under my eyes. Uh, I don't know if I should, my under eyes get so dry. But I feel like the color is like amazing. I'm in natural light right now. Um, you can see, obviously you can still see all my, you know, spots and stuff, which I could really, I don't really care obviously if I'm not wearing makeup lately. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. The color is not wrong. It's lightweight. Um, it definitely like, blurred, but didn't make me look like I have makeup on, which is essentially what I want out of a product like this. Um, I think if you have better skin than me, awesome. Yeah, it feels good. It feels like, honestly, it feels like nothing, which is what exactly what I want from a product like this. I just don't want to feel like I have anything on my face. That's my thing with makeup is like, after an hour, I'm like, get this off of me. So um, right now I'm not feeling upset. Um, the only thing, like I said, is the fragrance. Right now I'm not smelling it once it's on. I definitely smelled it while I was putting it on. It also has like... I almost feel like they're trying to cover up the smell of the sunscreen with the oils and I just feel like that's unnecessary like I'd prefer to smell like sunscreen because I know there's no fragrance um that's like my biggest issue right now is the fragrance the prices is not the lowest but it's not the highest um so right now how I'm feeling immediately after applying it is I would not purchase this um it's not fragrance free which is a bummer 
Um, it's a little expensive. Um, normally I'm more of a $15 to $25 girl when it comes to products like this. Um, so right now that's how I feel. But at the same time, I don't think it sucks. I don't think it's a miserable. There's some things I've, if you've watched my channel for a while, I've put on my face and been like, I'm taking this off. I'm not even finishing the review. It's definitely not that. I think my skin looks nice and glowy. Like I am a natural light in a window, but I do think my skin looks glowy. It feels smooth to the touch. Um, that one amount really just went went the distance it went around the whole face pretty much um and the color was i mean exact because there's no you know the color was just perfect um obviously they only have i think five colors not even um they probably fair to light light medium medium to deep and deep i'm assuming that's what they have um like i said i haven't even done any research on this so it's like a completely like free review of any kind of opinion um like prior opinion but i'll try to link it below i'm guessing it's sephora um, it says it was made in Korea. I don't know if this is cruelty free. I am. I did list cruelty free on influencer, so they shouldn't be sending me things that aren't. But I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I've never really tried a Dr. Dart product. I don't think maybe like a mask or something. But um, I'm actually digging it. I haven't worn makeup in a while. <laughs> it's making me kind of want to wear some makeup. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. So we will check back in later. Um, we'll see if it made me break out, how it lasts. Um, I'm not expecting like amazing coverage or staying power or anything like that because it's a BB cream. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not disappointed, so. Okay, an hour and a half in to wear and it still looks the same. It feels the same. It doesn't feel oily or greasy. It feels smooth and soft and the color is still good and oxidize. Um, yeah pretty much don't have anything bad to say i think it looks really good it feels good um i'm really hoping it doesn't make me break out just with those sunscreens that aren't mineral and the fragrance so those are my only concerns at the moment but as of right now we're looking good